In this video, I will address three specific culprits that may be standing in your way of getting what you want and specific actions to help you remove these obstacles. Susan Chan here, Feng Shui Realtor based in New York City. Do you sometimes notice that even when you set your intention to reach a goal or a certain outcome, it just seems impossible to achieve? For example, you may want to improve your finances so you can move into a bigger home, but no matter how hard you try, you're still in the red. I know how frustrating that could be. So here are three obstacles that may be standing in your way of getting what you want and specific actions to help remove them. Now, just a heads up, you may need a pen and paper to take notes. First obstacle that may be standing in your way to getting what you want, environmental clutter. Feng shui anyone? So if you have a lot of clutter in your home, in your email inbox or a negative energy with friends or family, then the chi or the energy around you may be stuck. You need to clear out this physical and energetic clutter. And here's an action step to clear out your physical clutter. Ruthlessly, but with love, throw away anything that you don't need. Have faith knowing that if you need it again, it will come easily available to you. Avoid scarcity mentality. Now, if you don't have a dedicated space to work, put together a tray of favorite objects, just like this one. Isn't it nice? And place this tray down anywhere you're gonna work and voila, automatic workspace. Now here is how to clear out energetic clutter. Clear out the negative energy of those dragging you down. You can stop following these friends on social media and from your heart, send them love. Then think of three people who have what you want. Reach out, start a conversation, and feel happy you're taking action to change your energy and your world. Remember, we are the average of the five closest people to us. Remember that. Second obstacle to getting what you want, mindset. I call this feng shui your other physical space. Our perspectives, our behaviors are usually learned from our parents. So we may be conditioned to not do certain things and make excuses that aren't true. I'm not smart enough, I don't have a degree, whatever it may be. Your mind is stuck and you can't see a way out. Take this action, take a pen and paper, write down what you want and don't limit yourself. Imagine you have no limitations and just keep freestyle writing until it all comes out. It may start with the obstacles and you need to clear that, but the longer you write, the more clarity will emerge. Then I want you to create an affirmation such as, there's nothing standing in my way of getting a new job, meeting my future spouse, or living in a kick butt home. Then say it aloud every day for 27 days. It may sound hokey, but I, can, I really can't tell you how powerful it is to use your voice because your voice is creation and believe me, it will create your reality. Third and final obstacle standing in your way of what you want, time mismanagement. It's a common excuse to why we don't get what we want and I know it's mine. There's not enough time because you may have a problem. I may have a problem with overscheduling or not prioritizing what's important. Now the solution is to learn better skills to manage your time. The action, put everything on your calendar, appointments, phone calls, errands, and most importantly, personal time. If you don't put personal time on your calendar, like an appointment, you'll never take that time. And what good are we? What good are you if you're a chaotic and energetic mess? So decide on the two or three main things you're gonna do a day, because that's probably as much as we can most do in one day, and then everything else is icing. Did you get it? Clearing out these obstacles, I didn't say it was gonna be easy. You've heard the phrase, if it were easy, everybody would be doing it. Now, if you can clear these three obstacles, environmental clutter, mindset, and time management, you'll be well on your way of getting to your goals faster and easier. So get to it, Feng Shui Warrior, and tune in next week for more Feng Shui real estate tips. Remember, Feng Shui is not a luxury, but a necessity. Did you like this video? Please subscribe or leave a comment or question, and see you next week.